So in the 82nd Master Gunner Cell here today to talk to you about how to properly mount your optics. In specific, what we're going to address is the M150 RCO. How some, however, some of the processes that we're going to go through to mount the optic apply to all optics that you mount to your M4A1. So first things first, what you should be doing when you get them out of the arms room is check to see if you can loosen the knobs by hand. If you have a CCO, don't do that. It'll automatically loosen by hand. These knobs, however, should be tool tightened down. If you can loosen them by hand, the M150 RCO is not properly mounted. So what we have to do at that point is we're going to have to mount it properly. To do that, we sit there and assume a good cheek to stock weld, and we have someone else move the optic on the rail until we get our optimal sight picture. Adjust it back and forth along the rails until you have minimal scope shadow intruding and you actually have a good sight picture. And by that, you have minimal scope shadow and the optic reticle is clear. Generally, it's located in the full vicinity of the T4, T5 rail slots. And there we go. So, what we do at that point, now that we have that established, is we have to actually mount the optic. To do that, what we do is apply slight forward pressure. What we're trying to do there is those recoil lugs located here and here need to be flush up against the front of those rail locations. And what that's going to do is it's going to ensure zero consistency. So I apply that forward pressure as I'm tightening down these knobs. I tighten them down by hand until I can't tighten them anymore. Now, once I've done that, what I'm going to do is take a tool. I'm going to take it a half turn past. And you'll notice you've got the slot right there in the center. It can also be used to tighten it down. What I like to do is take and use that slot as an indicator of how far I need to rotate it. Then I'm going to do the same thing back here. Now, if you've got something like a Gerber, you can sit there and ratchet it, similar to what I'm doing right here. Now, once we've got that done, how do we make sure that they don't come loose again? Well, that's where you incorporate a paint pen. And you take and put what they call a witness mark on the knob. So what you're going to do at that point is take and put a mark on the knob and then onto the bracket, like so. And what that does is it illustrates to you, the, not the firer, whether or not these knobs have moved. So as you can see right there, it's a very simple little mark. If it moves, you'll know. And then on top of that, what it lets you know is once you remount it, you know what tension you need to actually tighten it to. So you hand tighten it as far as you can, then take it and tool, tool tighten it until the, mark, the marks line up. That gives you your consistent zero. For the 82nd Master Gunner Cell, this is Sergeant First Class Miller, Airborne, H-Mine.